Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. As you can see, we are here in field 72, and we are getting ready to do some disking. We're gonna go ahead and get rolling here. Uh, this is the one of our last few fields of spring tillage that we have to do <clears throat> before we are done for the year. This one it looks like it's got corn straw on it. So we're going to go ahead and till all that underneath and get it ready to have soybeans in it. So that way it is ready to rock and roll for our next season. Uh, our wheat is all planted and ready to go. So that is uh, that's just waiting on us to get some other field work done so we can go ahead and run over it with some herbicide. Um, it does say that the field needs lime so I'm wondering if we shouldn't get that taken care of right now um, we could actually do that right now we could rent a fertilizer spreader I don't really have anything small for a mod so we could rent this one Uh, yeah, we could rent this, and we could set up our John Deere on course play quick, and we could have it uh, run some lime. So I think we'll actually do that. Let's lease this for twelve, about two thousand dollars, basically. And then we're gonna jump over to the farm here. We'll let that warm up while well, we get the doors opened up. Oops, wrong direction. And then we'll get this set up on our course to run to the shop. There we go. So he'll go ahead and run to the shop for us. And let's see, we can just leave those shed doors open. Oh, shoot. We do need to bring our pickup back as well. Forgot that I had left this guy sitting out here. We're going to try and get our tillage finished up in this video. I mean, we just have three small fields. Whoops. My steering was a little bit off there. We just have three small fields left to do. So we might be able to just cram it all into this video and get it all done. So this right here, we're going to stick right in between these two tanks and there's autosave kicking in there we go so we'll go ahead and leave that sit there and then we'll park the pickup back where it goes here. And then we can go back to disking while we wait for our tractor to get to the uh, dealership so it can pick up that <clears throat> um, spreader. And I just want to check something here once with these bins this fertilizer bin I want to see if I should be able to buy lime from it I'm hoping 
So then that means that we need to we'll spread the lime on our two wheat fields and then we'll return the spreader. And then once we have finished planting our soybeans and our corn, then we'll probably lease that spreader again and uh, do the same thing to our corn and bean ground because those are also going to need lime because <clears throat> I think I have that on to where they need lime lime required let's turn that on so let's see here if we go here soil composition so yeah they need lime on them um, I have periodic plowing off for now so we don't have to worry about plowing anything <clears throat> for the time being um, I probably will turn that whoops probably will turn periodic plowing on at some point and make it so that we have to plow every so often but for now I'm just leaving it off okay so our tractor is here so let's go ahead and grab this spreader here oh I did not want to tab out of the game I don't know why it tabbed me out there Okay, so we got that hooked up. Let's set up shop to farm. There we go. Of course, we got to start this thing again. All right, so now we're good to go again. <coughs> so we have weeds on, we have lime on. So we'll just probably uh, run with those two for now. Eventually, we'll probably because I know I have some um, discs that they will plow and cultivate at the same time so once we uh, are able to upgrade to that maybe we'll turn periodic plowing on then because then we'll be plowing anytime that we run over the fields that or we could just buy you know something that only plows and then buy a cultivator as well and you know in the fall we can do the deep tillage and then there we go in the fall we can plow and then come springtime we can just run a cultivator over it smooth it out and then plant that would be another way of doing it as well so I mean there's a few different ways that we could do it but for right now we'll just uh, run the way that we are so this field's small enough we can just kinda go around and around this field will not take long at all to get done so there is definitely not much to this field here so it shouldn't take long for us to plant it either when that time comes most of our fields are pretty small They're, I mean our aside from our two larger fields our fields aren't bigger than five acres so most of them are two and four acres I mean they're, they're really not a whole lot but they'll get the job done for now at least till we can afford some uh, bigger fields and whatnot
Okay, and our tractor is back. So we're going to get turned around and then we'll go grab it. Get it filled up with fertilizer and get it set up on one of our fields on course play. Just that way we can focus on tillage versus focusing on this. So, so let's make sure that we can actually fill lime from this fertilizer tank. Because I want to be spreading lime, not fertilizer. No. So, let's see what we got in placeables. Because I need lime. Hmm. We need the lime bulk bin then. Okay, so let's put this down. Let's put this bin right here then. But we need to turn it. This collides with an object. What object is it colliding with? Okay, we'll put it right here then. There we go. I mean, we're going to need a lime bin anyways, so... I mean, we could have just bought this spreader, to be honest. And in all honesty, we could have even just bought a multi-filling station instead of having bought all these bins, but, I mean, this works too. So. I mean, we can go into landscaping mode. Oops. Start landscaping. Okay, so I want to change landscaping mode, and I want to change the modification shape, switch planting ground type. And I want the same as what's here. There we go. So this is what I want. So I'm just going to stretch this all the way over to the field. So we're kind of cutting our field back just a little bit. Ah, fuck. I did not want to go that far over. Shit. Okay. Damn. Um, Alright, well I guess we're just going to have to do it then. Cut it back a little bit more. I did not want to at all, but... I guess that I had other plans. Pretty sure my tractor's in the way. I think I still got that ground. Yeah, I still got that, so. Okay, so it's going to be fertilizing and seeding. Um, we're just going to set these to buy. that way it just it fills itself course generation let's get this backed up here because I want whoa okay too much actually let's just go start up here so course generation we need field 72 
don't know why this wants to be in the 20s. I'm going to set this to 11 meters headlands. Let's do one. Let's do two headlands. Let's see what that looks like. That'll work for me. F72 spread line. I'm we'll set to start at the first waypoint. Alright, so he's going to spread lime there. So now we can jump back over here and we can continue on tillage. So we can get this done. So then this should be showing. Over here. So, I don't know. It should be going. Unless I have to wait a fertilizer stage, I don't know. Because maybe I shouldn't be putting fertilizer down with the planter. I should just go back and spread, like, lime and whatnot then. Maybe, I don't know. I guess we'll let it run its course on that field, and then we'll see what it does. If anything, I might have to just wait with it. Or maybe do another round of it later, I don't know. But we definitely do need to pick up a fertilizer spreader then. So we can broadcast lime. Because we're going to need that if uh, we're going to run with lime on. bit left on this field and then this one's good to go all right another field down well we gotta head on over to 26 and 27 which are going to be our next two fields here our last two fields actually There's our spreader right there running. He's still putting down lime, so. I don't know, I guess, like I said, we'll just kind of see how it plays out, I guess. See what it does. I may have to wait until that fertilizer is through or something. You know, wait a growth stage or something for it to take the crop to take in that fertilizer and then it'll work. I don't know. Said we'll just have to kind of see, wait and see. I guess maybe I should have put lime down before I planted. So I guess that's something that we could do with these fields. We could put lime down and then plant with the fertilizer over top. 
we'll just we'll wait and see what it does with uh, these fields here once it uh, you know once it is done spreading we'll see what it says in the menu for if it needs lime or not so these are our next two fields right here on our right so these shouldn't take very long either shouldn't take very long at all we're gonna get the gate opened up here oh is it open both of them then no there we go all right so let's get this on in here and get plowing I guess I could have come in through this entrance up here too. That would have worked just as well. Alright, here we go. Another field underway. Oof, this is not going to be fun with our combine on course play. That's going to definitely mess with stuff, but it is what it is, I guess. I mean, in all reality, we could run the combine and have our trucks on course play, just have them set up to the farm. You know, they drive to the farm, and then uh, there's a wait, wait point set there. I mean, that would work, too, for it. So we'll just kind of have to see. We'll decide when harvest comes, I guess, what we want to do. Yeah, this field won't take long at all to knock out, neither will that other one. It's definitely draining our bank account running that lime but it's something that we got to do so that we can get our maximum yield I mean I could just shut it off to where we don't need the lime but I mean we're running weeds already so might as well make it even more fun and make it so that we need that why not right why the hell not might as well make it a little more realistic while we play. I missed just a little bit there, but should be able to pick that up with our planner, I would think. If not, well, we just have one little itty bitty spot that we missed. Not that big of a deal. I mean, if it was a big strip, that'd be a different story than I'd be going back and getting it. But for just that little bit, I'm not worried about it. So we just got to remember that we came in that entrance and we'll go out that way. So that way we can shut that gate.
All right, well, we should be able to get all this in one pass here. And then we'll be done with this field, and then we can move on to our last field of tillage. Here we go, last field. And then we are finally done with it. This one should not take us long at all, either. This is just a little guy, so. We will definitely have to come in that other entrance, or that other gate when it comes harvest time, because I don't think we'll fit. Well, no, let's see. No, these are going to be soybean fields, so yeah, we will have... We will be bringing the draper header in. I was thinking we'd be bringing the corn header in here, but these are going to be bean fields, so. So yeah, we'll have to come in that other way, so that way we can get our bean head in here and still have room to be able to hook it up and everything. Because we definitely will not fit through the uh, gate with the header on. So we'll just pull it in that gate and then pull it right up in here somewhere so that we can hook it up to the combine and then be able to get rolling. So once course play finishes that first field, then we'll look at the menu and see what it says. And if it, um, I mean, like I said, we could just shut that off, which I might, I don't know, just cause it's, lime is kind of a hassle to have to deal with in this. And I might just shut it off just so we don't have to deal with it. You know, just one less hassle to have to deal with every season. You know, same with like that periodic plowing. Like the, I'll only turn that on if we have something that's plowing and cultivating at the same time. Just because I don't really want to have to, you know, sit, run a plow over all of it, and then go back and run a cultivator over all of it. Just because it gets to kind of be a hassle. I mean, if we do stop with lime for right now, because I mean, if it if it's not registering right now with the field planted and fertilized, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep that lime tank because then next season we will run lime. Just I'll know till the field, put the lime down, and then plant and fertilize. You know, I'll know a little bit differently because I really I've never really dealt with lime before, so I'm not 100% sure on how it works. So that's kind of why I'm just doing like a trial run right now. Yeah, I'm just kind of trying it just to see how it works out, and then we'll go from there. All right, we are done with our first season of tillage. So we can run this tractor back to the farm now. And actually, I think we can just leave our gates open. I think that's what we'll do. So we'll just go ahead and... I don't know which way these gates are going to swing. In, okay. No, I don't want that gate. I want this gate. There we go. Let's see, what's this guy up to? 
So now that he's gotten some of this field done. Yeah, so, okay. So we're just going to stop him right here. And delete that. Unhook that. We're going to go to our garage and we're just going to return that. We'll go to least items. Return. Back. Okay, and then we're just going to go throw this guy in the shed. So yeah, we'll worry about the lime at another point. We'll shut the lime required off for now. And then we'll do the lime at another point in time, but not right now. And then we're just going to stick this guy back in the Quonset. I'm not going to rinse it off right now because we are going to be using it here soon to spray our herbicide. So I'm not really going to worry about washing it off right now. So that means our truck is also going to have to come out here soon. But for now, let's just focus on getting this thing home. We'll worry about getting our sprayer out in the next video. And we still have to go, we still have to speed up time a day anyways, so. Um, to day two. Actually, we're going to go to day three. Because we have to go to day three before we can plant soybeans and corn anyways. I believe. Yeah, we need to go to day three anyway, so we'll fast forward to day three and then we'll do our spraying. And then we'll get planting. We'll get our uh, soybeans planted and then we'll fast forward another day. A uh, day or two, probably another two days. You know, we'll plant our wheat on the first day of spring, or our spring wheat anyways. We'll plant that on the first day of spring. Third day will be our soybeans. Fifth day will be our corn. We'll just do it that way. So we're going to go ahead and get this tractor and disc washed up. And then get it put away. That way it's ready for its ne next task this tractor's next task will be to uh, run our corn planter this is gonna run our Kinsey planter and then after that its next job will be running the grain cart during our harvest all right we got her all looking shiny and clean yeah, I think this is cleaning up. Yeah, this is washing up, so. We got our disc all shiny and clean now, too. It's ready to rock and roll. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to get this disc put away. And then we're going to put the tractor in the Quonset for now as well. And uh, she'll sit there and wait for a couple days. The only reason I'm going to put it away is just so it's out of the elements for now. While we work on some other field work. And we can also close this shed up. So we got that done. Now we gotta get this guy put away in here. I gotta make sure it's in here far enough to where we can still get our John Deere out without having to get this guy out again. So we should be fine with it right there. And that's gonna about do it. Um, so in tomorrow's video, we'll fast forward to 
day three and then we'll get our herbicide sprayed and uh, then go from there so that's gonna do it for today guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel make sure to subscribe if you like what you see and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you tomorrow